Tomorrow, June 1st, is the official start of hurricane season. And after hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria last year, we know it's never too early to get prepared. That is right. Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor talks with the nurses who man the shelters in tonight's Getting Results for Your Health. We're at the Department of Health in Seminole County and we're talking with nurses inside this building who tell me when they're hired, they know when a hurricane comes, they'll be in a shelter. We prepare all year round. Sarah Wright leads the charge when we hear a hurricane is threatening Central Florida. Her team of nurses from the Department of Health set up special needs shelters for people who are oxygen or electricity dependent inside schools, community centers, even churches. They hold about 100 people and in some cases, pets. We start triaging in the street, um, right outside. Um, it, when they come by buses, we triage in the bus. So we strategically place them. If they um, are wheelchair dependent, we make sure that we put them near the restroom. Wright tells me prep for Irma was different than the year before during Hurricane Matthew. Because of Harvey in Texas. So clients thought that we were going to get hit just as hard or harder. So it was a different kind of feel than Matthew. Um, folks came prepared. They brought their life possessions with them. And one of the biggest challenges is the long wait. Because not knowing is probably the biggest um, aspect that we deal with. Clients fearing for their homes, for maybe their loved ones, um, for their pets that are in the pet shelter. Um, so we let them visit them. In extreme circumstances, the nurses have to be prepared to evacuate an entire shelter. One of the nurses had that experience where they had to evacuate. And so what you do is, is you call the emergency operations center. Um, they call transportation. They get school buses. The police come. EMS come. That is definitely something that we thought about during um, Irma because we were having some generator problems. We were having some electrical problems. Lessons learned from every storm, getting results to keep shelters safe.